One of the pleasures of hosting this program has been meeting some of the most successful investors of all time. Back in 1995, I interviewed a stripling of 98 years about the markets. Phil, what's the single most important thing that you have learned about investing over the past three quarters of a century? Patience. <laughs> patience. Tell, expand on that. How do you apply patience? Well, I buy things <clears throat> for myself and for clients <clears throat> to hold for five years, ten years. Well, I won't be around for ten years or any sizable part of it. But uh, you fooled us before. You could fool us again. <laughs> 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 One of the most remarkable things about you is that you don't rest on your laurels. You're out there every day as an active investor. What do you think of the stock market today? I think it's uh, dangerous at present levels. <coughs> uh, Too uh, a lot of froth on the boom. I think uh, probably we're in for a, maybe something like 1987 when the market went down 500 points in one day. <coughs> Perhaps we're going to have a repeat of that. But in the long run, this is a great country, uh, despite being uh, having too much government. And I think in the long run, why uh, the market will recover and people who buy the right stocks and sit on them are going to do very well. What do you do, given your experience, when you think there may be too much froth, when you think there may be a major correction, even a crash? Do you sell all your stocks? <laughs> no, I really don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just show I, that patience, huh? I bought them for the long pull, and I, I can, uh, I've seen a lot of recessions, and I can live through them, and I can do it again, perhaps. <laughs>